Tony, babe. Yeah, I am. You said that like 20 minutes ago. Tell that to your bitch ass of a wife who lies to you and does reverse psychology. And I also got the screenshot of her admitting of stalking my YouTube. I knew she was going to stalk me eventually. So it is kind of funny how she's not telling you the truth. And Curvin was killed by murder. She got away with it. She was fucking another dude at the bar while he got murdered. She threatened to get him killed because he wanted to leave her psycho ass. So when he decided to leave, there's people who can back that shit up. That Curvin told people that she was going to get him murdered. And once he left her, he got fucking murdered. Open up your goddamn eyes. You helping a murderer? Are you a suspect to it too? Wake the fuck up. Yeah, you dumb as hell too. It's kind of funny that you need to do your research about tarot. Because ancestors are from the dead. Do your fucking research. And I know your wife has threatened my ass before and other people. And she threatened to kill me too. So pretty much, you're sticking up for that bullshit? That says a lot about you. But your wife is a murderer? And a fucking psychopath. She strangled the fuck out of her daughter and almost fucking killed her. Wake the fuck up. And also, other people can back it up. Curvin did tell others that she was going to get him murdered. So what the fuck's up? She got to be so in denial about it. So she pretty much got him murdered. And then answer this one. Why did she threaten to kill Curvin Curtis' cousin right after at his fucking funeral? You better do your research on a lot of shit. Your wife's a fucking murderer. And you better be careful of her. Because if you decide to leave her, but the real good question is how the fuck is her first wife or how the fuck is her first husband still fucking alive and Curvin's fucking dead and went to your ass knowing she was fucking another dude at the fucking bar when he got fucking murdered. That's proof of your bitch ass of a wife who admitted of stalking my fucking YouTube. Yeah, you're annoying too, so is your fucking wife of a murderer, son of a bitch. Yeah, you're annoying by sticking up for a murderer who threatens to kill people, who does something when they don't, pretty much, if she don't get her way, she's gonna get you fucking murdered. Oh, but you better wake up to that. Oh, I forgot you're so stupidly, madly in love that you're so fucking blinded to the fucking truth that I bet you one of these days you're gonna find out who the fuck she really is. There's a lot of people talking... She's the one who harassed me first, motherfucker. Your wife is such a fucking falsely information. You know, you're just a narcissistic just like her. A malignant narcissistic. Your wife is fucking annoying. And going to the police station knowing that she fucking harassed my YouTube is a very stupid asinine idea. It's gonna come back on her. Because she shows she admitted stalking my YouTube. So you better question your goddamn self. You go to bed, motherfucker. You ain't my mom. You ain't my dad. You ain't fucking me. Go fuck your fucking wife who might murder you in your goddamn sleep. 
how about you do some research why she tried to kill her fucking daughter by strangling her and almost killed her because of her anger. Oh, yeah, that's also why her parents had put a restraining order against her because she's a threat of intimidation. That bitch don't intimidate me. And, yeah, she did threaten to kill me, so do that research, bitch. Oh, we got a snitching bitch. You know, that can actually come back on her by going to the police station after I have proof of her admitting of stalking my YouTube. That's going to look really stupid on your wife's part. It's common sense. And Rico crime and gang stalking me, not good on her part. I promise you the law is going to question her and not me. Why is she stalking my YouTube? Why is she threatened? And I can state she did threaten to kill me. And she's fucking with people again. And that's pretty shady as fuck. You guys have a guilty as fucking conscience. And pretty much that's false information for one. Because I'm not doing anything to you guys. It's just her trying to get her fucking way. And she don't want the truth. She d she pretty much fucked up her own reputation. And you're sticking up for a murderer. Who got away with shit. And threatened to kill people. And curving Curtis's cousin? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm pretty sure the law ain't gonna like to hear this. That that's what she does. No, you need to leave everybody the fuck alone. And she's gonna about to leave people alone too, because a lawyer ain't gonna like to hear this. That she's threatened to kill me before. And that's how she is. When she don't get her way, she's either gonna make people disappear, or she's gonna hurt them. You better wake the fuck up to what your wife's about. She is a murderer, and she was stalking my YouTube, which that's going to look bad on her. They're going to question her, not me. You know, that's a really nice reverse psychology bullshit of a narcissistic of not wanting to get caught. I recommend not to make it worse for yourself. It's just a reverse psychology bullshit because you know it's going to go bad for your wife and not me. Nice try. Uh, apparently, I have proof of her actually insulting and also false informationing on my fiance that is somebody who is pretty much using his shit and hacked into his shit which your wife false information on my fiance which is very stupid on her part do you guys not have any common sense you know somebody who is using somebody's character or identity that does not belong to them and it's that motherfucker of a different person who's hacking my fiance shit you not know how stupid you guys are really gonna look to the cops you guys are gonna look really stupid i'm just saying the cops are more gonna question you guys than me just saying